Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Dark Potential table update and this is the final update. As you can see, the table is finished. I have overgrown rooftops, lots of foliage in here. I have some light posts down here. I'm going to get in closer. I'm just going to show you an overview right now. Uh, this has been shown a little bit on the mini wargaming site, but since it's my project, I'm filming it too and showing you guys what's up. I got this uh, really overgrown um, roadway here. Uh, it's more overgrown than these other two roadways a little bit more because uh, the idea was that this was to the left here was a park. So naturally the park would have more greenery in it and then it would overgrow uh, progressively this way. And broken out building here. Then we have a huge landslide. It's all populated with lots of trees. Got little details. There's uh, mailboxes in there and stuff. The overgrown subway. I have my billboard that's been all overgrown. I'm trying to keep it nice and steady here. Got vines coming up there. There's uh, trees coming out windows. Here's a shot of this, this upper level. There's a rooftop entrance there. Refocus here. And we got like a water tower, uh, some futuristic generators, things like that. Same thing on the other roof. I'm just going to pause it here, get in closer, and show you some more detailed shots. So we're going to start here on the edge. I just got some rusted telephone, I mean, uh, light posts. This was like the boardwalk next to the river or something. People said, yeah, make the water more stagnant, but Chris from Mini Wargaming did that and I couldn't finish anything, so... Poured it way before I took on the project, so... It's already finished resin. So we got here. And up here, we got some forest. Trees coming out. Here's uh, more of like a a model view. Back there is a uh, some bent what are they called parking meters, and we got a, a mailbox back there. Coming closer on those guys. Mailbox and all overgrown. So we got some color in there. It's like silver. Um, flower tufts. There's white ones, there's red ones, there's purple ones. It's got some super turf, all different types of trees. Got uh, MBS model supply trees, hecky trees, Bachman Seanscape trees, Woodland Scenics armatures that I put clump foliage on. There's lots and lots of variety of different materials on this board. So you got here a, a tree coming out the window. One of those parking meters. They're all just rusted up. And then on the inside of here, just got some foliage going on, a big tree. I'm not going to take this building apart, but I did put a lot of, I'll show the other side of the back of the other building, but inside this building, I put a lot of uh, gravels down. People were talking about the foliage inside the building, so there's lots of gravels covering areas. It was just a layer that I hadn't put on, so now the layer's on there. This guy's all... Um, this is all hand-built. Uh, it's just different pieces of plastic. Uh, evergreen plastic card. Um, just different types. There's the, like a staircase, railing, and it's all just cut and fit and all done up. Uh, it's plastic card bottom and then a textured side that I did for the buildings. These are MBS model supply uh, windows that have all been broken. It's uh, modern age. We have some Herstart piping here. Just got some chicken wire fence that I put up. And then I made like, there's like a hole there. It's kind of bent over here. These big guys are Bachman Seanscapes uh, 8 to 10 inch spruce trees. This guy's a MBS, MBS tree, and we just have some other stuff here. Um, this big bramble or briar bush, 
Uh, it's from, I can't remember the company, but it's found on scenicexpress.com. Back here I have two Nimbins. One's opened up and got garbage still in it, and the other one's been just closed. Back door entrance. And a little bit closer on this caved in area. Got a few levels for miniatures to stand. There's a few open spots. It's all for pictures though, so. I'm gonna get around to the other side and then we'll take some different picture sides. So tucked away in there is another mailbox. A uh, dead tree. It's a sill floor. I mean, a uh, Bachman Seanscapes aspen tree there in the this guy. And then up the building I got some more trees coming out the windows. This roof is removable. Both roofs are removable. And just got some generator stuff going on here. Another one of those big briar bushes. More things. It's a very tight spot that I'm in right now, so I gotta lean against the wall. But as you can see here, there's still green in here, but some more gravels and stuff. And you don't know what's back here, so maybe this building is actually destroyed, like right here. So never know, whatever. More green can get in than you you can see. So I'm just at a really really weird angle trying to hold my camera and be in this like half a split foot spot that I on the other side of this board. That's the angle there. Shot down that road. Sorry, I'm trying not to jiggle the camera so much. And I'm gonna get some other shots. Sorry, I had to get out of that spot. It's too tight in there. So this is gonna be I'll back up here. This is like the main the main shot. Obviously there's workspace in the background, but it'll be put against a green screen or a blue screen or whatever they have here. Then we got oh, I'm stuck on a tree on that roof, but got the staircase all overgrown, the door, tree coming out the window. So that's the board pretty much. It's just extremely covered. It took me 80 plus hours to do this uh, from when I took it on to this point. And yeah, I really like the project. It's a lot of fun. You'll see it a lot more in the coming months with Dark Potential releasing. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any custom terrain that you want built, you can email me at greenleafterrain at gmail.com. Or you can go to my website, greenleafterrain.com, and fill out the custom work request. And I can get back to you within 24 hours. So, this is the type of work I do. Very detailed. Uh, this is for display pictures, so obviously uh, I would work it better for playability. It's a kind of a little bit hard for playability, things like this. Uh, this tree's really tight, to, tight next to each other, but it's for pictures, so it's different. Um, but I do build for playability first and then for aesthetics second, so, but I really like the aesthetics. You obviously want it to look realistic, but also want to be able to play well, so I'm the guy to go to, so you can email me or go to my website again. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll have more videos to come.